Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do another mod to the new ride, the Durango. It's gonna be a real simple mod, um, but it's a must have in my eyes. So we're gonna do a brake controller. So I know in the 2019s and up, you can get the optional uh, factory brake controller, but the 2016s don't have that. So let me show you what you're gonna need. So you can get the factory wiring harness that should come with it. Mine fortunately did, but we're not gonna use that. So we're gonna put in a Prodigy P2 proportional brake controller. Um, I have this unit in my motorhome. I really like it. I don't plan on towing all the time with the Drango, but it's just nice to have. It's not real expensive at all. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install this. And this is their version of the factory harness. And it's right here. So this just plugs in underneath the dash, then this end plugs right in to their controller. When you open up their controller, they have the universal harness. So if you didn't want to spring for this, which I would, it's only $10, and there's a part number if you didn't see it, you can use this, and then you would just butt connector to this, but spring for the 10 bucks and get this, and it will just plug right into the back of your controller. So let me show you where you plug this in. Now, I popped half this cover off to show you where the plug is. Let's see if I can get the camera in here. So if you look, there's this plug right here. That harness plugs in right above it. I don't think you can see it in the camera, but let me go ahead and get the harness, plug it in, and I'll show you. Okay, there it is, it's nice and plugged in. So for those of you wondering, let's go back to the factory one. This piece with the release latch goes on the top. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna route the wires however we're gonna want them. Now be careful, this is your airbag. So when you mount your brake controller, don't screw it into here. Yet yeah, really only two options in my eyes. You can stick it up in this area, maybe down here, or you could come over and stick it right here. The nice thing with this brake controller is it has this nice little mount. So you can kind of put it where you need it to. So this is where we ended up with the mounts. And let me show you how I got there. What I did is I popped this piece off right here. It just goes behind this trim here. And I routed, as you can see, the wires down. And the reason that we chose this location is I'm gonna use some Velcro to put it onto the dash. Um, that way it's not, that's why it's not down here. Cause putting it right here was my first option, but then started blocking the, tr the hood release. Getting it too high up, it blocked the gas tank release. This real estate right here is no good because that's your airbag. I don't know what that is and you can't mount it sideways. It has to be in the direction of travel. You can go 360 degrees but with the inertia sensors in this unit it has to be in the direction of travel because this would have been the next ideal spot sideways. So what I did is I ended up with it right there. Now the great thing with using this mount in the the great thing with using this mount in the Velcro is I can because I can undo undo the controller and either leave the mount there with the plug in it or unvelcro the mount and just have the plug hanging out. I can also just pull the plug back down. So there you have it. That's where I installed my Prodigy brake controller in my 2016 Dodge Durango. I don't know why Dodge didn't put a factory controller in until 2019, but this is how you solve the problem. Mounting it is the hardest 
part of this whole process of where you're going to stick it. I chose up top so I don't have to drill any holes and I'll use some heavy duty Velcro. Let me know where you mounted yours in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time.